Hello and welcome to another Petrol Data Support video. Today's video topic is about creating events. And um, this is important because you do want to select the correct mode, particularly in Solo Storm where multiple race modes are available. If the correct race mode isn't selected, then the logger will behave a little bit oddly, um, might not record your data correctly, and ultimately present it in a way that uh, will not be useful in, in, in analysis. So it's relatively simple, but um, we're just going to run through it. And here we go. So um, we have a current event here that uh, isn't the event that I want to record. You can see time attack there. So what I'm going to do is hit the main menu on the top left. I'm going to select configure event. And you can see here, current event is that event that was just showing there. So I'm going to tap on that. And you can select um, events that may have been created previously. I don't want to select any of those. I want to create a new one. So I'm going to tap on create new event. It's going to ask me for an, a name. So I'm just going to go test. Let's make it something. You can be anything, anything that you want. Hit OK. And then the important part as you might predict, is race mode here. So we're going to tap race mode. It is autocross, um, but we do have in solo star multiple modes. Pro solo, which accounts for two, two um, courses side by side. Hill climb, uh, emphasis on elevation, and time attack. Now, time attack is going to cover any, any event that's held at a traditional race track uh, where you're lapping over and over and over. Okay, so for me, I'm going to select autocross. I'm just going to tap on it again, and I'm going to hit save. Okay, so you can see the event there, test one, two, three, and it is autocross. If I wanted to rename it, um, I certainly could. Um, and then there's some other options here that we'll cover in, in other videos. I'll go back, and you can see test one, two, three, autocross. All right, now if for some reason you've realized at this point, Oh, I've, I've, I've messed up here. Um, if you need to change race modes, unfortunately, you cannot change a race mode once the event has been created. You're going to have to create a new event um, and select the proper race mode. Okay. Um, now, if you wanted to delete an event because it's uh, it's not one that you need, then we we'll do it in another menu here in the, in the um, log browser. So what we'll do is go into analysis and logs and you'll see these are all the um, valid logs that you can select so i say let's say i i don't want to test one two three now so i'm going to hit that the three dots in the top right corner of the title bar hit delete events to indicate i want to delete i'm going to select test one two three and i'm going to tap delete in the bottom right hand corner and delete to confirm that i'm going to delete okay now, again, uh, of course, there can be um, situations where you've accidentally deleted the wrong event um, or you're finding you're deleting logs, um, but you're finding that your storage isn't uh, actually freeing up. Um, that's because we've instigated a trash bin mode. So if you tap again, the top, um, three dots in the top title bar there, and then we go to trash bin, you'll see the events that were deleted. Now, if you want to un uh, restore it, you tap and hold, and then you can select the ones that you want. You would tap restore to bring that event back. Okay, so now we're back in, and I've restored that one, two, three. Now, um, if you needed to clear memory uh, for your device, then we go back into the trash bin here and simply put um, empty trash. Tap it here. You will be warned and it cannot be undone. So we want to be sure that you want to remove these, these logs. Hit delete and the trash is done. And that's it. Hopefully that's helpful to you and we'll see you next time.